there's no any other way. It looks so hard. Yes, it's hard. The easiest way is to unite with Nigeria. By what? By mouth. But we are still suffering. The hardest way is to join hands to clamor for what belongs to us. Many hands make a light work. Now let us go by playing this. I'm as an I don't know whether this thing is still here. Uh, uh, is he still with me? Uh, no, he's not. He's not anymore. It has gone off. Uh, let me see if I have this one here. Oh, it has gone off. Uh, but I have to bring it. I have to bring it. A very, very important broadcast. Um, okay, let me play this one. It's also about the Igbos in Lagos. This message for Igbos that are living in Lagos. Let me see if it's what I have here. This one is um uh this one is about Oba of Lagos threatening Igbos. Okay. And Oba of Lagos threatening Igbo. He said he will push many of you in Lagoon. Nothing happened to him. He did he, he decrease one to near a second class citizen. They are second class citizen. So they are not being threatened anyhow. But the third class citizen, which is many of you cockroaches that from Biafra land that are living in Lagos. They will burn your shop, beat you a hell out of you, slaughter you there, and take your corpse. Nothing will happen. Nobody will speak for you. So that's what you are lacking. No one speaks for you. Governor not speak for you. House of Representatives are not there for you. Senators, they are not there for you. You don't have any militia. The little one we want to grow up. You people have started sabotaging them. So you have no value. You, you are more, more of a dead rat in Nigerian situation. But let's go. Let us hear what this man said. And many of you must have listened to it in the past. You know, sometimes we need to repeat all these things. The, I won't call it lamentation. The demise mm. of Igbo people in Lagos. Shamefully, I will say. Oh, please, do bear with me. I want to play it again. I have to play it again. Enugu is on. Thank you. Let us see if we can play this. You must try and bear with us. I must play it. I must play. Let me start from the beginning. I must play it. Because our people don't listen. If any one of you, I find the name of God when I tell him, goes against my will that I am not dead, he shall allow me the next God of the world. He will die in I'm not ready to make I think for anyone who will die. And that's why I said, and the governor said, I said, that's what you do. Even the two of them is about to be. But nobody knew how I did that for you. Your man is my blood relation. And I told you in your language, you can never have the number of leaders for now. You must be lost to God. I'm not begging anybody to do what you want. You want to know, and what you do is I'm not doing your job. What if I want to do now of anywhere? If you know what I want, let us be continuing to do that for you. If you know what I want, you will be able to do that for you. They said, come here. Hey! You will be proud. Oh, I told you so. Did I not? You said it, you said it. I told you so. <laughs> Uh, that um, anything you hear on anything, if we tell you to run, run. If we say don't run, stay where you are. If we ask you to vote, vote. If we say don't vote, don't vote. I'm telling you the truth. Because eventually, uh, as they say, everything we say here comes to pass. It does come to pass. It was sorry, I just, uh, just had to play that because we had a slight disruption because of our limitations here connectivity mm. so i have to play to provide a preamble a background a prologue to what is to come baboons and monkeys in the zoo are jumping up and down accusing the man you heard his voice there for threatening Igbo people in, hey, uh, Igbos are being threatened in Lagos. One Nigeria. <laughs> we are the best of you. Can you come to IPOB meeting? No, I'm a Nigerian. Mm. <laughs> in Lagos, yeah? In a Nigerian? Go and see what the upper of Lagos said. Not just an ordinary, uh, uh, keke driver. It's the upper of Lagos. 
in one Nigeria. People are so hypocritical. I want to just shoot all of them dead. Your hypocrisy wits. You claim you are one Nigerian. You isolated a bunch of hopeless Igbo traders in Lagos that nobody speaks for them. Not to nobody. Hey, nobody speaks for them. Because even the SND when Lagos specializes in doing deals with Europe to sell Igbo containers. And Igbo man in Lagos. High cent is the name is name. High cent for me here. I sent for me here. SND in Lagos. Do you know his job? His job is to make sure that once you bring a container in and they make an assessment of it and they think something valuable is in it, they will connive with Yoruba and that was You cannot get that container until it enters demonage. Mm. When it becomes apparent you cannot afford the six million naira needed to bring it out, they will go to Abuja, collect auction paper and collect the items. And then go and sell it. And he will then go and say, I'm SND Buriburi in Lagos. <laughs> the same thing if Arjuna is doing with my shop. <laughs> if you see where he can steal, I cannot buy my cannot buy some wishy. In the name of freedom fighting. Some people are in Lagos, SND in Lagos, they are conniving with Europa to go and steal containers belonging to their own people. Do you know what we do now when we want to import something to the zoo? You use Alahaji's name. Alahaji Idris Haruna. And they will not touch it. <laughs> Once it comes in as a if I need to and if your clearing agent is not strong, an able man in Lagos, high sent, he is indeed in Lagos, will steal your container, an able man. When they see an Igbo man stealing other Igbo people's properties and nobody saying anything about it, that will embolden a Yoruba man to come out and say whatever rubbish they want to say. Do you think I blame the other? No. I blame all of you. Because we told you so. Hold on there. Hold on there. Um, this is, um, he was speaking for those traders that are shouting obedient now. He want to go and get your PVs now to vote the cabas out. How far? You never clear. I met one yesterday. I'm not one yara. People now, I'm not messing my Please don't talk. Don't. The guy says he's an evil man. He say no, no, we must, Nigeria must be good. We must make sure that we, it work. One of, one of, one of us need him. Leave and leave and say, na isha de kwe man over See, more won't be sure them. I want them now, now for you. Is it because uh, we come down and be talk? My head is not normal. That's why sometimes when I see many of you calling me to give me advice, you don't disturb yourself. Isha de hamu on ma. Time has gone when somebody tell you, don't talk to me, he's a madman. I'm a mad idiot. No, no. Do you know what they have done to us? Frustration is what is holding us. They can have entered into our brain. You think you are normal, you that are watching. Provided you are from a Biafra land and you are in Western world, sweeping toilet and uh, doing nonsense job. You think you are normal. Well, this is one of the advantages of Christianity. And which is so bad. It's bad. But I know it's an advantage. It gives hope. That is, I think that's the reason why they brought it in our land. As they are sucking us dry as they are frustrating our a hell out of our life they tell us once they arrive that's all we are going somewhere so this man has been speaking for all of us all of us he, is he a is he an importer exporter but he's talking about those that have been imported goods today nobody's talking about him they have deceived many of you find out that some of you have stupidly and shamefully went and hide you don't want to speak again but the brave one who realized that nothing and the kano is only the solution they have kept they came out and they are now with us but there are a few in number while almost 80 percent of them are still waiting for a court case so they can be able to vindicate themselves let me see what i have here uh metisola what do you have here before um let me see if i will have this is the same Lagos place. Got the ability of our people in Lagos. Yourselves a laughing stock. They will play with your children's lives. And today is happening. All I do is to remind you of what you have done to yourselves. That's all I do here. 
And that is what I'll continue to do. I will not change. I will not stop. I will not retreat. I will not surrender. There is no prevarication. None whatsoever. Never. It is here for all of you to see very, very clearly what is happening. I will worship to Abiyama first. I will pray to him first. Then, if you are a neighbor person, you will understand how Yoruba people speak to you. Mm, going to hear you. That when I tell you that you people are irrelevant, I mean it. I told you this morning that anything you hear on Radio Biafra is gospel. Oh, yeah. You thought I was joking. When I look at Igbo people and say that these people are down and out, believe you me, they are. You may not see it because you don't possess the type of foresight and vision that we have by the grace of heaven. I'm about to prove it to you tonight. And I want you to ask your parents, those of them as old as we are, Go and ask your parents throughout the time you have been here before today. Have you ever recorded an incident where Igbo people were dressed with such humility and shame? Hi. I never knew we were so cowardly. I didn't know. I didn't know. Because of your shop, but they do more tapeni peni afwa for people are behaving like idiots. Ibo, chile kemenu nebe, chile kena nani kemenu nebe. You people are, oh God in heaven, are these not your children? That a Yoruba man is talking to like, and on Sunday you go to their churches. That is how foolish you are. And that power has That power such a. That is how wretched and hopeless you are. And that two on this trouble. I warned you about Yoruba. You don't listen. That is why I don't feel sorry for any of you idiots in Lagos who we are tongue lashed by a Yoruba man. Mad people, insane idiots who cannot reason. That is why Yoruba will insult you. And you go to their churches and you call their pastor, mama, papa. I want, I want mad people. You don't know this is Radio Biafra? I didn't know. I didn't know. Don't you know that this is Radio I Biafra? I get also at this trouble. Open, we open. are not afraid of anything. My mom, I'm mad. It doesn't matter. If you're a spirit, if you're a human, it is irrelevant. We speak the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. As of today, Igbo people are irrelevant. I agree. In the zoo called Nigeria. Absolutely, ir wretchedly irrelevant. When you were going about gossiping and backstabbing yourselves, you were, you thought you would get away with it. You are, you are insane. There is always a political price to pay and today you have paid it. Will Ohanese speak? The answer is no. Yes, you go, Hoshi. The man going to speak for my is another one appointed by Yoruba man. How what can he say after all? Basanji used to sponsor World Book Congress in America. So what is it? What, what can he say? Can you know what you are nothing? No, but he said the right one, but I hear it. You come race with the apple butter from China. That's the end of you. Oh, uh, 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 that's my hero. I know you call him. He's a contract for our man. Without an Awusa man, most of you cannot eat. That call yourselves uh, elite, Igbo elite, Igbo big wigs. Mad, insane people. Who don't have a party on your own? To go out there and make a career, you're going to walk. I said, we thank you, we praise you, we honor you, we adore you, we uplift your holy name, we bow before your throne in heaven because only you is worthy of worship. Uh -huh. Only your magnificent name is worthy of praise because... You look down upon us with pity, and this evening, as I will always ask you to be merciful unto your children. Yorubana Brahamba, be merciful unto them. Hold on there. Hold on there. Hold on there. Hold on there. I will continue with you, Onisi. And Cherega, to the breaking news. Some breaking news that are going on in Nigeria. Breaking news, Chai. Brother, we are nobody.
You know, but it's rumor. Anybody that tell you Igbos, Igbos are smart. You know, we are we're all rumor. Anybody that come closer to you as his nah, 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 we, we are smart. We are the smartest people in Nigeria now. Nah, that is why they want us to go. Give a bottle of power to do These are the statements JDC for so many of us. The Igbo that are brave they have gone. All our forefathers. Him who are a bunch of idiots. None of this struggle, especially in this struggle. All this idiotic Pentecostal Mugu. And your power such as on this struggle. And your, but I get one hand steady, steady. And we will bring another, another spirit in this struggle, eh? Even before, even, I get me to listen, and then I'm not there. That know what we are doing. And your doctor such everybody. On the idea, and I get you. The spirit of weakness. The spirit of cowardness. The spirit of peace. The spirit of forgiveness. Um, brother, according to the look now, he say, forgive your enemy. Pray for your enemy to repent. Brother, don't do that. This, this is God who judge you. We don't need such idiocy. That is why we are nobody in the eyes of it. If after all, now some of you are members of um, Oyedebo now. All these Yoruba Pentecostal churches. A lion and a crowd now hate you. Ibo, Ibo, Ibo. Only doing a song, choir, Ibo choir. Hana, Hana, Japon, and Nike. Ibo is spreading. Look at it. The choir have dominated every Nigeria. I don't know to what I have gone. My head, you have my hand up one niche. Naza overall. Foolish people. I did a read. Don't worry. I get very soon. Man, everybody, money on each man, you know, man, you know, so all of us are foolish. Provided this trouble is concerned, if the whole the whole Biafra land, or everybody, we are foolish. Look at what they are doing with us. An elderly man speak. They arrested him and put him today or yesterday. He was um, persecuted. That man that just came out and said, "Ibo shop, the burning down of Ibo shops cannot continue." He just speak. Oh. He never act. Oh. He just speak. And I'm going to tell you what they are doing with that man. They have arranged, you know, Nigeria, they know how they do their things now. They use life, they can kill in order to justify their lies. So, in other words, the life of citizens means nothing to them. Now, let us go to headlines that are in Nigeria today. And you're gonna why you're gonna why no, no, why we're home, cool, 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 now, thank you. Thank you. You can say that to last one, okay? Um, now, listen. This is from. This is from Woloso Inca. From Woloso Inca. You remember those days? Um, Mazen Nam the Khan is inviting Woloso Inca for a debate. You remember? Nobody, even you that are watching me as an IPO member, you can debate, you can destroy any professor who come in to debate Biafra versus Nigeria. You can destroy them. That is why they, they never, you can never go on the internet again who debate about Nigeria or Biafra. It can never. Have you ever seen it before? On a Unless my the person or the so empty, like you don't know how to speak, you come and disgrace yourself. You can never see anybody come and say, I want to debate, let us debate whether are we better off in Nigeria or do we ask for secession or, or we ask for separation. You can never hear it. Now, Wolesu Inka is calling the vice president um, candidate of um, Labour Party for a debate. Look at it here on Vanguard News. Anyway, let's all read. I challenge Baba Ahmed. I think many of you are supposed to be seeing it. Anyway, I challenge the question number. I honor white gate. Just want empty. I challenge Baba Ahmed to one-on-one -on -one debate on channel uh, on channel. So inka Nobel laureate professor will also inka challenge the vice presidential candidate of Labour Party. You see of that uh, Baba Ahmed to one-on-one -on -one debate on channel television regarding the national democracy. But they can't challenge anybody about the Biafra or Nigeria. So this is what they do. And now, 
Um, I still have um, I have a lot to show the obedient people. Oh no, I can't put on here today. Now, another update. <clears throat> another update. All these things are doing it. They are doing it to frustrate Obi. I don't want. To, I want us to learn something from this. I, I want many of you to reduce the attack on Obi. I know why, and I'll explain. I don't hold you. You can go and do what, but for our own good, I want many of us to reduce the attack. At, at, especially at this point in time, we are learning a lot with this situation. We are learning a lot. A lot. A lot have been collected. We are going to use them. They push him out to deceive this struggle, but we are going to use him. Obi was a, orchestrated to disrupt what we are doing. A number of Biafran that are following him, shouting Obi, Obi, they didn't know anything. We are going to use this opportunity to teach them what they don't know. That is why I want many of you to cease an attack on the Obi. How haven't our will come? Our will has, our wish has come to pass now. Many of us know that he's going nowhere. You know, didn't, didn't you know before? That that's the reason why you stood ground. Say you are not moving an inch. Is that Biafra or nothing? That no, nothing like an election that is going to function. You said it now. And it happened. So why are you at, why are you flogging a dead a dead animal? Relax. Now, what are we going to learn from this? We are going to learn, especially our people are going to learn that they are the lowest class citizen. Number one. They are also going to learn that Igbos, especially this younger generation of IPOB, or anyone, when those all each other can talk on your own, we love ourselves. We love ourselves. If we didn't love ourselves, many of us would not be doing IPOB today. Some of us would have abandoned Mazen Nam. They can allow him to perish there. But we have been speaking on his behalf. So many people are perishing. So many people are laying down their life because of this struggle. Started by Mazen Nam, they can. And we are, nobody have come and said, nah, nah, you can't come out and declare our people and uh, we are doing IPOB. No. The people that are saying it are the one Nigerianists. We can die for our person. We are learning. Now, Chairman Dadichie wrote to Joe Biden, open letter, concerning what is going on in Nigeria, especially what they are doing to P2B. Now, they are now attacking Chairman Yoruba people are now descending on Chairman even um, the idiot they call Wilesho Inka. What does he show you? They say we don't love ourselves. But an Igbo, an Igbo lady, let me use that word, Igbo. Let, forget, I know we are their friends. An Igbo lady have written to Obama, I mean to uh, Joe Biden, to, uh, let me use that properly. Uh, let us not be shying away from realities. The sister of Obi, his, his, his sister have written to Joe Biden, please, look upon the injustice they are making against my brother. Peter Obi. Now, they are now beginning to attack her. Can you now begin to see the analogy? If we keep quiet, or we do otherwise, they say we hate ourselves now chimama is trying to be in the side of his brother they are beginning to lambast her we are not welcome in that place to go is very easy what what we need is togetherness togetherness of those that are serious or not or togetherness with the religious mindset and power hobbers we don't need those people togetherness of people that know what is freedom what they're fighting for we need to reduce attack on peter B. rather we are going to use the advantage of the situation they find themselves in now. You don't know that many of you have convinced a lot of souls. You don't know. You don't know. A lot of souls are to be converted again at this present situation. The only energy I want you to be channeling, channeling, channel all your energy in the subjugation they are making on our people. I don't want to know whether it's Labour, whether it's Obio, whether it's anybody. We know that those people are these are experiments. But the followers, didn't, many of them didn't know. And how are you going to do that? Are you going to be castigating them, castigating them? Are you, yeah, ask OGD Kanala Jungwe. Their stupidity is affecting us. It's not affecting you. Their gullibility is disturbing us. It's not affecting you. So why will you continue be every time? Will be, will be, will be, you will be, you know, so let us use this opportunity. Just like the one of the traditional ruler that spoken in Lagos, they arrested him, and then before you know it, MNI are into court. Uh, it's worse, but nothing like a adjournment. If it's the case of Mazen Nam, the Kana, he can oh, chief judge, I go see you, Jihau. 
Uh, 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 he, he flew to abroad. Uh, are they postponed? But this one, no postponement. I judge it instantly. Am uh, I instantly? 30 days imprisonment. Only uh, a uh, uh, traditional ruler of Igbo extraction. But uh, above uh, Lagos said, if anybody that go against his will, will be thrown inside the lagoon. Nothing happened to him. He didn't learn anything from it. You know, he didn't learn anything. You learn that you are nobody in Nigerian cities. Now, listen. Listen to this. Now, because of this man, from elections to they have convicted. Now, hi, Mazen Namdekano, your job is very, very nice, child. Many of you may not know what Mazen Namdekano is doing. Some of you thought that he's only preaching. You know, some of you don't pay attention to his preaching. Look at what they are doing now in Lagos. Hi, Nigeria, we know you people. Look at what they did in Lagos. Just read. Just read. Just read. And they might be owned by Ojo Zakar, they might all the same people. Look at it. Boom. Policemen scamper as unknown gunmen attack checkpoint in Lagos, kill cops, loot rifles. Unknown gunmen. Oh, has a brand of unknown gunmen. So that the other one can hand on at Southeast. Then I've been related to what that man said. He's going to advise those to come to Lagos to defend them. You see, I'm, so these are the things we are telling many of you. For many of you that didn't know now, you'll be running around and say, wow, it's like autopilot. Now, that's why we say we don't need them in existence. Autopilot see this now. They would like to claim the glory. They say we said it. We said it. The criminal in Finland have sent our men in Lagos now. Wow, we move. We move. They don't know the implication. This is just like a trap. So that let this thing correlate with what they have been shouting. Let it correlate there for the reason why the man was convicted and at the same time sentenced to 30 days imprisonment. Ha Batawari and Lagos. Unknown gunmen. In Lagos checkpoint, key police corp. Made away with their rifle. It's not the same news you used to hear in Southeast. It's not the same news you used to hear in Anambra Imo Abe. Hey, we are closer to Lagos to justify the noise. Many of you met last time. And if you are not careful, because you want to take the glory, you go and say, wow, we move now. We move autopilot, we move autopilot, IPOB, we move. And they will be laughing and say, wow, it's working. So that is why IPOB in general made a very big mistake. Mazen Namdekan himself made a, so a very, very big blunder by not constituting a functionable machinery. To take this idiot away from the surface of the planet. Oh, a mistake. I know he was doing it to be peaceful, peaceful, peaceful. But he never knew that it doesn't work like that. No, no, sometimes it doesn't work like that in African settings. They need iron hand. That is why if you go to so many African countries, you, you see dictators. Sometimes it's for their own good. If, what fit Africa is iron hand. Look at what they did to Jonathan now. Can't you see? Every second, they're on the street doing demonstration. Every second. Every mandoka. Churches, churches, comedians, so actors, so they are on the streets doing demonstration. Any little thing, ha ha ha, flood those streets. Uh, it is this Nara Pelita of fuel now. He, he cannot take it. Uh, we can't take this in. Uh, the, Jonathan has become a, a good luck, has become a bad luck to us. Step down, step down. It is this Nara Pelita. How many demonstration, brother? How many? How much gone now? <laughs> Ndoka, Ndoka, now fit. Hey, yeah, black. I remember those days. Hey, yeah, black and black. Flood all street. We told him. Uh, even back, I saw him back on the street. I remember those demonstrations. How many liters now? How many? I'm a man. I carry 86 liters. Hmm? So, this is, um, um, let me, I think I have to pay attention to Kamara Kwama when they're not here, Kawa Kikiri. I bought it clean. I bought it, I bought it clean today. Now, now, let's go to another breaking news. Another breaking news. <laughs> Nigeria. Nigeria, Nigeria. Nigeria, Nigeria. I'm not where Kiba knows. Now, another breaking news. Have it that a bandit kidnaps course of travelers on Abuja, Kaduna Highway. Kidnap is going on in Nigeria. Now, this one is also happened yesterday. Happened yesterday. Okay. Um, 
This is it. Many dead as Fulani and Hausa clash. There was tension in Guadabama. Let me see if I can be able to read it um, completely. There was a tension in Guadabawa community of Sokoto State following a conflict between the Fulani and Hausa people residing in the area. Ibere TV has learned. It led to the death of many locals for both sides, including security operatives. You see, for both sides. International community, where are you? Yes, and come and help us. But we don't to to. We don't need to know how IPO. Then when the king started, we need to send yes, yes in our community. Foolish people. Now we also can have talked to many of you obedient. Can I have the man who could answer many of you? Um, so we also can have talked to obedient people. He said. P2B supporters are not telling me to eat. Aye, aye. All I am here need to eat. Yeah, yeah. I had to have a mouth. Yeah, you're going to teach. You don't need to eat. I don't want to know how to use this. P2B supporters are not telling me to eat. Who have turned the internet to suck away for their rancid emissions. Professor Woloso Inka. When I have to need to eat. <laughs> but if the one of uh, converting internet to soccer, we agree. <laughs> I agree. You know, sometimes we have to face reality. Oh no, oh no, the Bini, my my obedient movement, Bini. They don't just carry these things on their head. You think they don't know what they're doing? Edo people. You think they want you to be free? Ah, Edo is like um second um second brother of Fulani. After Fulani, you get Edo before Yoruba. In in very very in dubiousness. Uh, uh, okay, just go to Edo people now. They carry this in their head. They they use Obi to make money. You didn't know Obi enrich their some 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 of their youth. You don't know. You get? Yeah. Was skipped. Hmm? Has any problem? You had this some argument. Civil schlafen. No, no, but yeah. Hmm. So, this is what um, some of you should know. Bini people are not in support of what we are doing. Yeah, I'm so many of you will be Christians will be preaching peace. Uh, uh, Metu, don't don't talk like that. Now there are some of the Bini people that are in support. I'm talking about generally, generally they are not in support of what we are doing. I know they fought. I and Lodish Bogo, we fought a lot. They were lamb after after in fact the Fulani self is Fulani when time they come. Fulani their own oh, oh they play the show with their uh, militia. The Fulani no day for internet, they're gonna have their rant one. Did you internet to be you know they are they are jobless? Some of them in Italy they are beggars in Italy. They are beggars. Some of them all about Benin have used them for sacrifice, so their brain are empty. So their job is to um hang with your online TV. Fate TV, or Sassy TV, or Morion World TV. They look at her, they are which are the other name, they always answer Fate, Fate, or Sazoa TV. TV, Quano Facebook, live Facebook. Hey, you everywhere. So they are the ones that are using that, they are TV, attacking Mazen Namikan, they attack that man a lot. Chai, how are you? And actually, actually, I go about the Emily debate. Okay, you can't call us a zoo and go free now. We are not zoo. We, are, we can't be calling us zoo. So some of you thought that they are with you. No. They're looking for that. That's why even only them joining this thing made me to realize clearly that OB is for failure and OB was sent to come and disrupt what we are doing. So many of them abandoned the struggle. And they're the one that came and brought the division about Idu. Oh, how I pack the thing again. Bini. Bini don't need to near us. I want to say Piawa Sacha has. They are foolish people. They are all about very useless man. I tell you. Some of you don't know history now. You don't know that he's the Oba of Benin. The one um, then permanent secretary to go on. The man oh, yeah, man interpreted the letter of, of Aburi. Many of you are man in history now. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, the, oh, yeah on this Oba go on. Don't allow this thing to happen. Oh. If this thing happened, that means this people have gone. Oh. Don't try it. Even this present Oba now. He's an Oba, 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 an idiot. He was one time an ambassador of Nigeria to Italy. Majesty, Nigeria, 
he was i think he was um busy raping raping our women in the name of giving them visa issuing passport until they reported him to nigerian government they transferred him to one of the african countries i can't remember from there i have palayolo from there i confirm where i saw her of benin Today now, yeah, man, yeah, we don't wish you here. I get you some mad idiot. I was with them. That's why many of you didn't know where, where we started. I was with the Oba before autopilot enters. You know, I drop a couple of this in the evening. Face your autopilot. We go and any kid around from the way. So gradually we'll be going back to our way. And so somebody have somebody about the other thing. Okay, um, great dear friend, say neat with means silly idiot child. <laughs> uh, and I, I don't want many of you to be calling obedient this thing, please. Obedient people, they say you are neat with. Please, you are not. No, you are not. You are not. It's just that you are dumb. You are not. You are not. You are You are not. You are not. You are not. You are You are not. 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 You are let me see another one, another breaking news. ICPC arrest lecturer for demanding hot sex from student, from female student to utter result. ICPC arrest lecturer for demanding hot sex from female student to utter result. The Independent Corrupt Practice and Other Related Offenses Commissioner has arraigned Dr. Balogun Okonon Oh, one. Oh, one B people, Kilo Dena. Doctor, okay, now doctor, I think I'm going to doctor, you know what doctor, don't have a pedophile. Related offense, commission has arraigned Dr. Balogun Olaniran, a lecturer at Thai Solarin University of Education, Ogun State, for trying to, hi, how? Oh, when he demanded for sexual gratification from a female student in place of sex, Olarinen was said to have asked the victim to pay 100000 to get better grade. An offense that contravened Section 8. I want a lecture on Olona. I'm Bujiriaka. I want a lecture on Olona. I want a lecture on Olona. I want a lecture on You want to go and sleep with a married woman. I watch how you know here. They beg you, you know here. They beg you, you know here. They beg you, you know here. You know here. I didn't know that boy. So these are the things our women are passing through. And some of you that are doing the same thing, you know, 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 On your address, we must unite with um, That's a we must unite with who Simon follow them. Think so, a you Christian foolish, foolish person. Comment again, comment. We must unite with Simon or the work one foolish people. Now, let's let's continue. There, there again, let me tell many of you, we're gonna have a radical. Iganadi aggrieved. Don't mind them. This is the way they have been coming us down. In the, in the IPOB, you're always aggressive. Iganadi aggressive. Don't become quiet. Don't become a peacemaker. Don't try it. This is the reason why you are at the lowest ebb. Lower, lower ebb. It doesn't even matter how to invade anyone. Mm. One day, calm down, calm down. Even happy and guy, one and one and a mother, and I talk a defender what belongs to them. Hey, now somebody, a brother, bro. no brother, leave and just got body questions or body questions. How Christianity, we don't need them, we must, must unite. Next year, now let's continue. Uh, let, another breaking news lawmakers to pass a bill preventing doctors from going abroad, but they cannot prevent their own from going abroad. They are doing a bit to pass to prevent doctors from going abroad. I want a lot of news here. I want a lot of when when no good news. Now let me prove to you that Christianity 
is for coward. Let me prove to you that Christianity is the reason why we are down. You are going to see it now. Open. Look at it here. Where? The 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 Senator Kalu preach peace. Religion, when I'm with our peace. You know, yeah. Let me preach you now. Only the election is on election. So, uh, what was the Kalupia? Good Friday. Crucify for our sake. Greater love to remember. Senator Dr. Ojo Zokalo. Oh, my God. So that because of his uh, position to become a senior president. So, I need you religion. What is the religion? What is the hatred? Go on, Former governor of Abia State. And the chief whip of Senate, Dr. Ojo Zokalo, has all Christians. Go on, Across the country to use the Easter season to pray for Nigeria and leaders at all levels. Go on, Oh, this is uh, Christianity. Christianity. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. I know they had their agent. <laughs> and some of them will see this cross now. They will say, Meto, let us forgive this man. He's a good man. He said we should use the good, good Friday to reconcile with one another. Oh, three daughters should dream. I should go and unite with a killer. That guy, that guy himself, the reason why you write to go and unite because. This struggle and what I'm mentioning, and which is why I'm blaming, including Mazen Namikam. If not, we will not write this in. By now, somebody would have been all Oga one natural at your sins. I'm a Kia Gala sense. You got that you even you can't even come here and say go and unite. He can ask now, Mazen, why do you people have taken the life of that young man? I have what he did. Let me allow Mazen to roll for a minute before I go. Uh, normally, I'm supposed to be on TikTok, but um. Uh, I was in heaven and edgy Ben Wayne. Um, it was a race in peace, our brother Dube. Um, let me see if I can be able to see this. Let me see if I will see what I wanted to play. This is 20. What I was, I was playing. Just hold on. Hold on a minute. Let me see what I was. The brokers are supposed to. Do I screenshot it? All right. Oh. Uh, did I screenshot it? Let me see if I have it here. Mm. Very sad. Very sad. I think. Okay. 12th of August. Okay, 12th of August. Mm, 12th of August. I will play it and I will, I will come back in a minute. I will come back in a minute. No, I it. Not bad. So I cannot laugh. What? My goodness. If I tell you the truth, what will you do? You cannot do anything to me now. So I have to tell you the truth. When I told you that Wole Shoinka brought in pirates, these are the idiots responsible for the killings in the universities because after pirates came Buccaneers. Exactly. Because you know, black people, they went and read and studied the history of the piracy in the Caribbean in those days. They found out that you had pirates and you also had Buccaneers as well. So the idiots, they formed Buccaneers wearing yellow. Their own color is a yellow sash. The other one is black and white. This one is yellow. And I wore in a university. <laughs> hey, idiocy of the highest order. This man brought in cultism to universities. Wole Shoinka, Yoruba man, so called Nobel laureate. He lacks vision and definitely not an intellectual. If he challenges me, I can allow him to debate. After that, I will come in. I will go first and he can come second. Dumb, 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 doesn't know anything. They use what is called Yoruba media image laundering. That was how Yoruba sold all their fake, fake Islamic pastors to you. Every well-known Yoruba Pentecostal pastor is a Muslim. Have you ever asked yourself, how come they deceived all of you? Because of the preponderance of their media. They, they will go and bring out a fraudster from Islam. They, they wash him clean. Most of them are from a Lauren Quarter State. 
the home of Yoruba Islam. Today they are controlling all of you. Oh dear me. Wale Shoyinka is a fraud and a liar. This evening, and you boss of video bell. Just very lightly. That concludes our news headlines. Allow me to bring you our news in greater detail. We have not lost much time due to intermittency, so we are sticking to time. Don't worry about that. I will take your call this evening as always, and I do not envisage any other intermittency from now till the time that we close. The news in greater detail. A septuagenarian, which means a very old man, possibly in his 80s, because they don't want to mention his name or his age. They said a septuagenarian. Now, if your school we are on strike throughout the four years, you, are a, you claim you are an undergraduate, now you've graduated and you're at NYSC camp. Let us be honest with ourselves. How many people in the zoo called Nigeria, even graduates, know the meaning of septuagenarian? How many of you? It's a very old man. Possibly in his 70s. If I'm not mistaken. What did he do and who is this man? This man is Yoruba Muslim. Every old man who is a rapist is a Muslim. Most of them are. Let me read it for you. A very old Yoruba man named Adebo Wale Dawuda. This is from the Punch newspaper. A Yoruba paper, please. Not, it's not something we wrote down. We blog news. Because if we write it, you won't believe us. So we just, others publish, and we give them credit for it. We don't hide it. We explain the news to you in a manner you can understand. Because if you have a newspaper now saying, step to Janelian in court for alleged defiling of 11 year old girl, believe you me, you will know what it means. But if I tell you a very old Yoruba man raped a girl of 11 years, then you understand what I mean. That's why you need Radio Biafra. That is why all of you must support Radio the work we are doing is invaluable. If we begin to charge money for it, all of you cannot be able to afford it. But it comes to you for free. Courtesy of IPOB, of course, in the diaspora. Those of you that we have their names, because as you contribute towards Radio Biafra every blessed month, through your monthly dues, and you're supporting for the purchase of um, armaments and weapons through the, uh, the normal channel, which I'm not allowed to speak, then we have all your names. When Biafra comes, all of you who are now lying, some people say, oh, call me Colonel, I'm Lieutenant Colonel, I'm Major. Which sister do you fight in? Oh, I was at Abagana. I came to Olo. From Olo, I was moved for, to Idato. From Idato, I moved to Kigwe. Okwasi, Okwasi. They never saw battle. They never saw war. What are we going to do in our case? Because uh, you may have your doubt, oh, that is your business, but Biafra is coming. All of you who contributed in one way or the other to the resolution of Biafra financially, I mean... We are going to compile all your names the same way that your various coordinators sent in your name. The original copies, we have them. We are going to put them in glass archives so that when some of you who are listening from under the bed right now, when they begin to lie to your grandchildren or to your children, oh, we contributed now to Biafra. Your child can now go to the nearest library and go and look at those who funded Biafra. And after going through it, they will see your name is not there. And then you will try to go and bribe the attendant in the library to insert your name. Who will hang both of you. Both you and the idiot you're trying to bribe. So, some of you now can be uh, pretending, oh, we are for Biafra, you know. Who will have your names. A book will be written with the names of everybody who supported this very struggle financially. This very effort we're making financially. So you can't lie to your children, you see. <laughs> very clear. Very, very clear. This is a subtitular, a Yoruba man, a double wallet daoda, raped an 11 year old girl. This girl is two years older than Aisha when Buhari raped Aisha. They are your so called first lady. A victim of child abuse and rape. Adebe Wale Dauda, who allegedly defiled or raped an 11-year-old girl, was on Wednesday arraigned before an Ikeja magistrate court. The accused is 78, I told you, septuagenarian, 70s. My name would have won, my goodness me. 
The address is unknown because he's a Muslim. They sleep on the street, maybe in the mosque. He is facing charges of defilement, sexual assault, and breach. No battery. Please charge. Charge brought against Buhari when Buhari raped Aisha at the age of nine. I'm asking you. He was 45 then. No battery. Please charge. He brought against Buhari then. They're in trouble, aren't they? Very big one. No battery. Please charge. The prosecutor is Sergeant Jima Isegede. He told the court that the offenses were committed. No battery. Please charge. 29 Anipupo Street. Pen Cinema Agege. That. Hey. Agege. No battery. Please it's okay. charge. Uh, they call it a suburb of Lagos. If I get you, um, wonderful people of Africa. I know this is um, is getting low. Then I don't know what the suburb looks like. One of the dirtiest places in the whole world. I dig it. Can you see how the name sounds? Very crude, crass, and very global indeed. <laughs> According to the the policeman prosecuting, the accused called the victim to a lotto shop. At the above address, under the pretense of sending her on an errand, remember the Islamic cleric that raped a little girl at Yarapaja. Have you forgotten? They always use them. Come, I want to send you. Come, let me send you a message for your mama. Imagine those that are not being reported every blessed day. The abuse happening in the zoo, little children. No wonder when they grow up, they turn into prostitutes. So less prostitutes everywhere. Nigerian girls. So less prostitutes there. The shop owner does not stay there, so it is only the accused that goes there every day. And because of this, it was easy for him to carry out the act. The accused had assaulted the child eight times and told her that she would die if she tells anyone. Eleven-year-old girl assaulted. Eight times, Yoruba old man. That's what we saw here now. Without honor. That's what we saw here. Yoruba Muslim. These are the people you want to be in the same country with. And some of you say, oh, it is not just there. It is also happens in Biafra as well. If you go to, I say, how many of those cases? If it's as rampant as it is in Yoruba land, that's seen the light of day. After all, all the police people are wonderful and they will quite gladly prosecute anybody. That tells you all you need to know. Yoruba shameless old men, old fools, abusing little girls. This thing happened in Iyanakpaja, in a mosque. They say it's an imam. Raped a little girl, and the police did nothing about it. Let's continue. The pedophile and terrorist <laughs> <is so laughs> well, I'm there, well, I'm there. The only man that can speak. And uh, today, some of you are seeing him as nobody. He made many of you, even many of you that are shouting, Obi, 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 Oh, yeah, you know, you know, you know, but uh, I never knew that now. This is not all about um, bloggers. So many of you destroyed this obedient movement from Edo people. Edo, I can count number of Edo people. There are more than 100 new bloggers. Edo people made money out of obedient movement. Hannah shout, get this organ house. <laughs> no, you're not with them. They're after their money. Small thing, Obi me Game <coughs> Obi have cough now. That cough is sending signal to Buhari that he's, he's, he's a very strong man. Before you do like this and do like this, because he mentioned Obi. Sixteen thousand shares under one minute. Obi just, Obi just, Obi storm at the airport now. Come and see what you have, what is going on now. Nigeria is becoming good now. So again, Obi, Obi, if Obi cough, all the news. The man who cook, all the news. The man who really, I say, come and see the way he's eating now. He, he showed that he's going to move this country forward. We calm down. We never want to fight, fight many of you. Or well, today now, una <laughs> Now don't go in away now. 
I am, we know. So don't feel that you are smart. We know. IPOB know about it. So that is why, that is why, I didn't know show to Zaga. Bini. I was there and I grew up there. Many of you didn't know. I served there too. A, a, a bit from there. So I know them. I know them. How the good of All this Aja. Ekwaja no How can live with very ekei kila fan them? Let me tell you why their own is good though. I'm not kugo kumgara wakuno ijoko. And that's why they don't want anything like Mazen Nam to come. They are what I call intact, even though they are gullible. They take instruction from Oba. Oba is like, like their God. Some of you that have lived there that have no, don't deal with them, you, you understand what I'm saying. Oba is like their God. In fact, after Oba, you will tell God to them. Oh. Then they now, they now begin to see that Biafra is trying to bring somebody that they can look up to. Somebody that can talk to them. They listen. Masnam, they can't begin to command people. People begin to pay attention to him. They are not happy. They are not happy. They now begin to say, nah, why are you people calling him savior? They begin to attack him from left and right. So they want many of you to be running like cockroaches. And that is why this nonsense uh, quotation of Ibuen I am better destroy as children can that quotation. What is Ibuen We need to have somebody who can take an instruction from. And it is in person of a person. They never they thought that we were going to Oji Sokalo, all this Rocha Sokrocha. No. Those ones are corrupt idiots. Mazen Nam the Kano begin to gain momentum. They begin to attack him left and right. I was surprised and happy that OB is a credible candidate. Let us vote for OB now. Say Nalayo, Nalayo. How about let go with OB? OB employed them. That's the only thing OB did to them. OB generated job opportunities for a lot of their youth. And today now they have campaigned to safety. Now the fight is now is between the same Biafran, so many of you are running from. The same Biafran. And we are taking it head on. We are not shying away from it. I don't have a, enough time and the space. Uh, this this um, broadcast was just an impromptu one. Um, the message is very simple. Let us withdraw. Mm -hmm. Sorry, let us withdraw attack on Obi. Let us not compound mm -hmm. his problem. Mm -hmm. It is crystal clear. He go nowhere. Some of you are hoping with the court case. Mm -hmm. As if you don't know mm -hmm. what Mazen Namikan is passing through. Mm -hmm. As if jo Chief George is coming from the moon. Mm. The Chief George, he, he, if you go to them and interview him, Saga, uh, how are you going to deal with this upcoming case? He will tell you, I'm going to do my best and follow the instruction. I'm not going to be biased. Just like Mahmoud promised many of you, he's going to give you one of the best credible elections in Nigeria. I only know the election now. So that is why we told many of you, return back. Join us. Join us. No any other way apart from the Afra Restoration Project. Join us. Let us get this thing once and for all. So we don't want to begin to attack many of you. We made the mistake. At least we're supposed to learn from it. That this thing now, the, the mistake you did now, we have seen it. We have seen it almost ten years ago, but we allow you to witness it. So we can't begin to attack you. No, we want you to begin to return back home. We want you to begin to realize that you are nobody without the Afra Restoration Project. We want to tell you that your life means nothing. Nobody will speak for you. All those are called, they are not there for you, they are for themselves. No politicians now is for you. They care for their own pocket. Even some of the chief judges, even some of the Nigerian military, they don't give a shit about you. We have a very, very distinctive phenomenon that you cannot find anywhere, which is what? On Ruben Wan Nabolos. So this is what we are asking many of you to return back home. Let us take this in once and for all. And returning back home, not criminals. You will know she on other side. If you are coming to join this struggle, you got there with your killing heart. Okay, who is the leader? Who is the eating money? Who is the finance? How much are you people contributed? You never contributed dying. If I have a baby, how much? On other side. This is a selfless service. This is not like obedient movement. OB is not an ideology. And that's why we are telling our Christian brothers. That they must make sure they uphold Biafra before any other thing. So, on that note, I'm going to leave many of you here. I want you to remember less. I want you to remember less. I still remember that your humble servant. 
very very loyal and local before all of you. Normally, I would wanted to bring many of you in on a live screen. That is why I wanted to go on TikTok. But I'm going to go that. I want many of you to you will see where I pasted the link on my on my on my life um, timeline. Uh, TikTok said I need to get one thousand before I can be able to go live. So we want to interact with people of other ethnic nationalities. Um, Facebook sometimes restricts people from coming in. With that TikTok, we can be able to reach even non-Nigerians, even those that are, you know, Europeans, Asians. So we can be able to be discussing a whole discussion in that platform so that we can be able to bring people in and discuss our plight. I want you to remain blessed, remain strong. Nothing has spoiled. We are in the right direction and uh, we are going to meet anytime is necessary. Good night from this side.